We tend in our culture to make a <coughs> radical distinction between drugs and foods with what we call spices sort of falling somewhere in the middle. In point of fact, a culture is what it eats and an individual's personality is uh, often largely a reflection of their diet. There has not been a human culture uh, that did not bear upon it the stamp of its relationship to certain plants which altered the individual and mass psyche. We can think of numerous examples, the influence, for instance, of sugar on the growth of 19th century mercantilism, or the way in which the British manipulated opium policy in the Far East, or, as you mentioned, uh, alcohol, which has always been the drug of choice uh, in Western culture. Who can imagine modern industrial office culture without coffee? These are major drug dependencies that have placed their stamp on the lives of millions and millions mm -hmm. of people. It's simply that we choose to linguistically define it in such a way that the effect is not something most people are cognizant of. I think coffee is a very interesting example because when it was first introduced into our culture, as I understand, it was considered a, a, virtually a hallucinogenic drug. Oh yes, when coffee was first introduced into Western <coughs> culture, uh, it was associated with certain establishments where loose women and loud music were available and the bohemian literati would gather and drink coffee and talk into the night and it was considered quite a uh, risque thing to be involved with, that's right. And, and wasn't tobacco also viewed that way initially? Yes, tobacco is a very similar case. Uh, the anthropologist Eduardo Luna has pointed out that tobacco, which had a history of millennia of use in the New World, was within a hundred years of being introduced into Europe through Portugal, was being buried in the graves of subarctic Lapland shamans. So it shows how the character of a drug is quickly discerned by a culture, even a culture that is encountering that plant or that drug for the first time.